Hey Virgo, welcome to my channel. This will be a reading for the 18th to the 24th of October. Please bear in mind this is a general reading so it may not resonate for everybody, but please uh, feel free to check out your other signs. So please take what does resonate and leave what doesn't. So let's have a look for the overall energy. We have the Page of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles, all right. Let's look at the recent past. For Virgo, please. Oh, Seven of Swords. All right. Current energy. Oh, 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 wow. Okay, we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Magician together. Oh, all right. And then a potential outcome, please. Two of Swords. How interesting. How interesting. Okay. All right, let's see what else in the recent past, please, for Virgo. Five of Cups, okay. Mm -hmm -hmm. For Virgo, please. The Empress. <sighs> I had a feeling this was going to come out. It's so strange. I had a feeling the energy of this reading was going to come out like this so far anyway. Um, Virgo, I get the sense that you have been fighting some battles um, and you're not a quitter. You're not one to give up so easily. Um, even though you may be going through some situations or you have been going through some situations that have been possibly hurtful or painful, you haven't given up. You fight on, um, to sort of like clear your name and some stuff, to prove to others or to a specific person that um, you're not going to take any crap. You know, you're gonna um, you're gonna stay true to yourself, stand strong. Here, the Seven of Swords. You know, you've had to do what you've had to do to. Um, it's like proving your innocence of some sort. And it ha it, it left you very disheartened. Here with the Five of Cups, it left you disheartened, kind of like tired of this. You no longer wanted that, you know? Um, but because of, you have such per perseverance, you know, here you come out as the Empress. You come out strong, independent, very, um, very self-aware. And that is a quality that um, people may uh, get jealous. Um, they may be jealous towards you because, because of your beauty, um, because of your inner strength that shows you know, in, in the way you uh, hold yourself, the way you carry yourself. And even if you're in a relationship, if you were in a relationship, this person, uh, you know, could have been jealous of you, not just a, a friend, but also your partner, whoever you were involved with. I do sense there was jealousy and, and you just sort of had enough of that. There was no need for that anymore. Um, and so you're like, you know what? I, I don't need this anymore. I'm actually happier on my own here. I'm happy on my own um, because I need to focus on, on things that I am passionate about, like career and um, certain things that you enjoy doing and you want to sort of amplify that. Okay, here in the current, uh, we have the Wheel of Fortune and the Magician together. That's huge. You, because of, of what you've come out from, um, you have taken an opportunity to start to really, really manifest things into your life. You're like on a mission now to turn things around. It is turning around already. Things are turning around. The energies around you are turning around. It, it, there's a huge shift. Here with the magician, Virgo, you, you, if you haven't realized already, you have everything you need right now to make your dreams possible. 
um, whether that's to do with work or, or love. Five of swords. You know, okay, oh, here we go. Oh, six of wands. <laughs> yes. Um, you will have your victory. You, you, as I was saying, you have all the things that you need within you to achieve what you want, to manifest what you want. Here, the five of swords, you do not give up. It's like the haters around you, you're basically telling them, no, sorry, <laughs> you're not going to um, take me down. You're not, all the other ones here on the five of swords, these, these are the people who maybe the haters, they're the ones going down, not you. It's like karma is being served. Karma is being served. And um, you are letting go of those people. Or person. Possibly the relationship that you were in. And the six of wands, you come out victorious. You come out like you're going to get some huge recognition. And it's something that, you know, you, you absolutely deserve finally. So when all those... The, the haters around you or whatever, the people are negative around you, try to take you down. It's only, it's only driven you to go up even more, to, for you to be even strength, stronger, for you to be determined to be even more successful. And that's exactly what's happening. It's like an, uh, achieving fame of some sort, you know? Um, people, instead of them, those people wanting to look down at you, you're going to have people looking up at you. That's what's happening here. It's like, you know how they sometimes say success is the ultimate um, revenge. It's kind of what's happening <laughs> in a way, right? For the potential outcome, two of swords and the strength. Okay, two of swords and the strength. What else do we have for Virgo, please? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. Outcome, what else do we have? And then the Knight of Swords. Wow. I, I, there's, there's either Leo or, or, or Libra. Air energy. There's a lot of air energy here going on. Um, but also potentially Libra. But, I mean Leo. But there is sort of Libra. Could also be uh, Gemini and Aquarius. Um, oh, okay, these two came out as well. All right. Let me just have them here then. Page of Wands and the Hermit. Okay, so Two of Swords, Strength, Knight of Swords, Page of Wands and the Hermit. I don't usually leave these like more than two out, but here we go. Um, right. After achieving this, this, this shift within you, the success that you're going to feel, that um, there's like some doors opening up to you. You're going to have um, like a decision to make it's like you're going to get offers and it's you, you then have to sort of find your balance and see what's best for you um you because you you have this inner strength Virgo that you don't allow fear to come over you so in the past you may have been hurt in a relationship but in the future, with a new love coming in, you, 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 you're going to still allow yourself to open up. You know, um, you haven't, even though you've been disheartened, but you don't carry that into the future, which is really important, which is really, really good of you. Um, and it looks like someone will be coming in strongly. It's kind of this, like they're coming in sharply um, and then they just want to sort of get your attention. And you're a very courageous person. Um, and it's, it's ultimately up to you. They are wanting to be with you more than you want to be with them, I think. Um, however, this person has different sides to them. Knight of Swords, Page of Wands, and the Hermit. So they will come in uh, strongly. 
And you may think like, wow, okay, woo, they, they may seem like they're, they have a big character, but actually here with the page of wands, they're also an end with the hermit. They could be a little shy, I think. Um, you know, once they see that you are also interested in them, um, then they kind of like reality hits them like, oh, okay, wow, this is actually happening. So on their side. And, um, but even though they're shy, they are, it's, it's someone that's quite wise. And um, age here, what I'm getting, age is, is nothing but a number. You know, like Aaliyah. This is, this is, um, it's like, age doesn't matter here. So it could, there could be a significant age gap. This is not for everybody, it, but maybe to some, there could be a significant age gap, but it doesn't matter. You know, uh, at the end of the day, love is love. And there's no judgment here. So um, there is, this person is really, really interesting. Like a really good person. And even though they've come in quickly, they kind of want to be a bit steady and take it slow. Okay, let's get some clarifications. Okay, that was quick. Ace of Wands, yes. You're going to get a major opportunity. There's a beautiful opportunity coming in. And it's going to come in at the right time. I think, I think because of how you've gone on with things, here with the Two of Swords and the Strength, you know within you how far to go, how quick to go. But you also know that things are working at the right time. Three of Cups. Okay, let's clarify. Three of Cups. You see, now this is in the past. I think now it's time to, to, to celebrate. Could be a fire sign. So it could be uh, Leo sort of screaming out at me, but it could be anybody. Oh, six of swords. Yeah, you're finally moving on. You're finally going towards this knight of cups. You're finally going towards this knight of cups. This person is romantic, very romantic. Um, romantic but can also um, enjoy themselves and have fun and that's what I'm seeing here Virgo the past is long gone you have um, come a long way you have done so well um, this opportunity coming in is because you have worked for it um, and this person around you knows that. They appreciate that. There's a lot of appreciation here. The Three of Cups, you know, you're going to finally just be able to enjoy yourself. Uh, the Six of Swords, it's, it's like saying you're moving on to something so much smoother and more peaceful and happier. And then here we have the, the, your Knight of Cups. And I just sense that he's so happy around you. You know, of course, you will be too. So let's see what the oracles say for you, Virgo. Meditate and contemplate. New moon in Pisces. Meditate and contemplate. Well, that's from where you've come from in the recent past. You know, and what you can do to um, change the things around you to manifest what you desire. Don't allow the haters here with the Five of Swords to get you, which I don't see that happening, Virgo. Okay, what else do we have for Virgo? Virgo, Virgo, Virgo. A time for healing. A time for healing, balsamic moon. Mm. Yep, again, from, from this, the, the past pain that you went through. Here, the Wheel of Fortune and Magician, you're going to turn that around for you, Virgo. You're not going to allow anybody or anything around you to get you down anymore. A win-win outcome is forecast. Full moon in Libra. Brilliant. And it's still Libra season. Last week of it. Oh, just... This is brilliant. A win-win outcome is forecast. There you go. It, it's There it is. Victory. And it's right there next to the Six of Wands. And 
I think I did say earlier, there's a sense of winning. If I didn't say that, I would then I'm saying it now. <laughs> it's definitely what I'm, what I'm feeling. Um, yes. So this is very exciting, Virgo. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I look forward to seeing you next reading. Thank you.